COVID-19 is placing a heavy burden on governments all over the world, and Ghana is not an exception. Governments obviously cannot handle this crisis alone, and it is for this reason that the Ghana COVID-19 Fund was established to raise funding from the private sector to support Ghana's effort to win the COVID-19 war. The targets? Build a 100-bed infectious diseases isolation and treatment facility in six weeks, the first of its kind in the country. And here's what is fascinating. All workers are volunteers. So, on a day when we celebrate frontliners, we introduce you to the team building the 100-bed infectious diseases center for free. We had to find solutions and the heroes who fought. By seeing the numbers right, um, you, you look at what your training gives you, the ability to help to design spatial interventions to deal with situations like this. And we've always sort of advocated that within a, a health emergency, any kind of intervention be looked at as intersectoral. So, you know, we came to this understanding that anything we can offer within this period of time, which is of us, we should be able to give to helping the situation for our country. You know, so I came into this very willingly. Um, I'm sure the rest of my colleagues have the same, you know, but for me, this is why we're doing this as a pro bono, you know, service. For me, it's a pleasure to join the battle team. Um, I believe that um, this can be won with team effort from everybody playing a part. And so once the call was made, we thought, no, let's, let's put this aside. Let's put the other hours that we use in, in making money and, and doing other professional stuff into something like this and, uh, and, and give our best for this nation. Actually, we all know the pandemic that we are facing. And as a, a professional, we have the duty to we have the duty to contribute to society. So as we heard of the project and uh, also heard that uh, we should volunteer and work, I think that I could also contribute to the success of the project. So I offered myself to come and contribute. This is a call to duty, and uh, uh, we all serve in the various professional capacities. And uh, once we hear this, uh, our professional institutions got involved from the built environment and uh, being surveyors, early quantity surveying, land surveying, we decided to uh, offer our service from the institution, that's the institutional representation. And that's what brings to bear the idea of uh, offering yourself for virtually pro bono. And we are providing structural engineering services, um, electrical engineering services, and mechanical engineering services. So we are ensuring that the building will stand and stand to the test of time. We are ensuring that electrical power services are always constant without any interruption. We are also ensuring that here the, the environment, the air conditioning and ventilation is safe. I feel it's more like a, a call to duty. Um, at the point when your country needs you the most, you have to contribute with the, the scale. And for us, our acquired scale uh, with the built environment. We deal with anything that houses people for a specific reason. So with this COVID-19, we had to come up with our expertise to house people who are dealing with this in the best way to ensure uh, good treatment and also prevention of the spread of the disease. Yeah, I decided to join the team just to serve humanity and the country. It's a pro bono, so when the institution call on me to come and offer my services, I willingly accept it because of the situation at hand. You know, the COVID-19 is a killer and we are all worried about it. So I ask myself, how do I contribute to save the situation? I offer my professional uh, competence free of charge on this project. Why did I decide to join? Um, the opportunity came up and we decided to take it. I think it's a good opportunity um, to be patriotic. Yes. I think that it's, um, if you are into learn, there's a lot of learning and there's a lot of actualizing what you've already learned. 
on on a project like this. So it's even though it's for free, it's a, it's a good opportunity. Also, um, my work here is to he, he does the designs. And what we do is we, we actualize it for the contractor to be able to carry out the pipe works. And um, basically, with the Ghana forces for God and country. Yeah, so that's it. Yes, we will survive. We will survive. Together, you and I. Together, as one. We will survive. Yes, we will survive.